My three-year appointment as the second U.S. Ambassador to the Republic of Armenia began in mid-1995 and ended in November 1998. Levon Ter-Petrosian and Robert Kocharian were the Armenian presidents during my tenure, overseeing five successive prime ministers, including Armin Sarkisian, who you can view meeting Vice President Gore in the White House here. The very top priority for Ambassador Gilmore earlier and for myself in 1995 and 1996 was using our large $100 million plus U.S. aid program to provide many tons of humanitarian relief and food and wheat to the Armenian population. It was still a time of great suffering and privation left by the Gumri earthquake and Armenian isolation after the Soviet Union's collapse. On cold winter mornings, Harry and I accompanied U.S. aid kerosene trucks to the earthquake zone Subsequently, during 1997 and 1998, coordinating closely with Armenian leaders, I shifted the U.S. priority from humanitarian relief to economic and democratic development, free and fair election programs, legal and judicial reforms, privatization, capital market creation, health, agriculture, and education, including AUA grants, AUA library expansion and also arranging for several hundred Armenian high school and college scholars to study in the U.S. My wife and I retain many fond memories of our three years in Armenia. Two of these photos stand out for us. The one showing the superb young Armenian staff members of the American embassy integrated with their American colleagues, standing side by side on the embassy steps. We all work together every day to build Armenian-American relations. The second is a collection of photos showing a let's have fun day in the relationship, the embassy's 1998 National Day celebration. We hosted over a thousand Armenian guests, including President Kocharian, hundreds of government officials, plus numerous other Armenians in the public and private sectors for hot dogs, Cokes, and a massive July 4 birthday cake. Then came the speeches and toast all around the American tradition of fundraising for worthy causes. In this case, financial support for the maestro Lourdes Chaknavarian directed Yerevan Philharmonic Orchestra. Another partying with Ch Santa Claus and Armenian students returning from studies in America. Happy moments with our friend, His Holiness Gadigin I. AUA and American Peace Corps graduation ceremonies. Let me conclude by thanking Armenians for being such warm hosts to me and my wife during our three wonderful years in Armenia.